Howie Long, we'll start with you. Baltimore Ravens, great regular season last year, number one seed. Then they go and get upset in the first round of the playoffs. This offseason, a lot of people have put thumbs up, but you know, how much pressure is on this team right now going into their second year with Lamar Jackson, the MVP, as their starter? Pressure. I, I think they're putting pressure on everyone else in the division, and I think they're putting pressure on everyone else in the AFC. They finished 14 and two. They had 10 draft picks. Uh, I think they, they let the draft come to them, which I think was key. Uh, they got all the knees. Queen, the linebacker out of LSU, J.K. Dobbins. I know, Reg, you must like him, and he fits that style. Love him. They're the equivalent of the greatest show on turf, only in reverse. It's just we're the greatest show between the tackles and, <laughs> and, and they need more bodies and they got it. Every one of these players that they picked up in the draft were guys that were slated to be picked later, earlier in the draft. And I, I think they had a great draft. Eric Costa did a great job. There's a reason why Baltimore is one of the best franchises in football consistency. And they just do it. And they bring in Calais Campbell. They bring in Ward. They bring in Ellis. They bring in Wolf. It, it's, it's they bring in a certain type of guy that whether it's through free agency or through the draft, it, you've got to be a Raven and they get guys that fit their organization. Yeah. They got better. There's, there's no doubt about it. The, the Lamar Jackson. Wow. What he was able to do last year. And I'm anxious to see, and I would love, what do you think? How, how do you stop him? You know how they have quarterbacks like, Oh, you had your breakout season and the next year, the defense is going to start to prepare for you. I don't know how you do that for this guy. I mean, this guy, I, I could see him being another MVP this year. And it's tough because they added so many weapons in the draft. One of the guys that we didn't even talk about, Devin Duvernay, receiver from Texas, who can flat out fly. I think adding receiver and pieces like that, obviously Patrick Queen is going to be great for him. But you talk about on that offense, it's already scary. Now you're giving him more weapons on the outside. I mean, I, I like this team to go back to, to winning the division and possibly competing for the Super Bowl. They could be a better team and win two fewer games and be a better team and be maybe ready to take the next step at the end. Yeah, it's hard to win 14 games two years in a row here. Let's talk about a team that hasn't done a lot of winning. Tony, you get the Cleveland Browns. This time last year, they were the hot team. Everybody was talking about them. Then their season went up in flames. They changed their head coach. They changed their general manager. Will that calm things down? And and, Because it looks like the pieces are there. Will it get them on the winning track somehow. Well, you know, with all, like you said, though, Kurt, with all the talent that they have there, I, this, this is another team that you look at and you say from the skill positions with, with Odell Beckham, Jarvis Laundry, they got Austin Hooper from the Atlanta Falcons. They got Ndoku. They, they got so many players, Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, but really what it comes, they got a good defense. What, what it comes down to is Baker Mayfield. He is the guy that, in my opinion right now, there is no player in the whole NFL that has as much pressure as Baker Mayfield going into this next season. Third season, former Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, the microscope is on him, and he's got to deliver. They have given him everything. They even Last year, he was running for his life a little bit, the offensive line. They brought Conklin over from Tennessee. They got the 10th pick in the draft, Willis, out of Alabama. They, they, they've done everything to, to give him the keys to the Ferrari. Now you just got to go drive it and you got to learn how to get out of third and fourth gear. You got to take it to sixth gear this time. Uh, and looking at that, their, their roster, I'm saying playoff team for sure. If not, if he can get it together and play like I think he's capable of playing, this is the team that I, I put right there could challenge Baltimore for that title. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Uh, that's impressive. Well, that's you look at it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to have to be accurate. <laughs> well, if you believe that that's a team that, that could challenge Baltimore, I think that means there are three teams in the division, everybody outside Cincinnati being realistic about it. Because, um, Reggie, you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. They lose Ben Roethlisberger's second game of the season last year, done for the year. They expect him to be back this year and healthy. Um, and they went 8-8 eight and eight despite all their troubles at quarterback. I think Mike Tomlin would have gotten my vote for coach of the year for keeping that team together and keeping them in the hunt until the final week of the uh, playoffs or final week of the regular season. Yeah, and you know what? Mike Tomlin is a great coach. Uh, and I thought uh, equally he did a great job at keeping together that team as much as he could, especially for what transpired after you lose a quarterback like Big Ben. Um, that's tough for any franchise, right? Uh, and so I, I, I'm i looking forward to this year for the Pittsburgh Steelers because they brought in some key pieces, guys like Eric Ebron, who we're looking at right now, Derek Watt, 
Um, but I think Eric Ebron is going to give Big Ben that threat down the middle because Ebron is a true receiving tight end. I played with him in Detroit, and he has great hands. He did obviously had a, had a great year uh, in Indy. But if they can find a way to get him on linebackers, mismatch on safeties, that's a win-win. The other guy I'm very excited about is Anthony McFarland, a running back from uh, from Maryland. Kid can flat out fly, explosive. Um, he is a game breaker, game breaking type of player, and uh, I think he has the ability to be just as good as uh, Le'Veon Bell, or if not better. What? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I like that's him that a while. As good I like as Le'Veon Bell. If you watch him in college, you watch and you see he has the ability to play out of the backfield. He can catch the ball in space. He's explosive. And the Pittsburgh Steelers love to run the football. But it's the way they love to run the football. They use those tackles and those and those tight ends, and they pull. And what that does for running backs is if they just get a crease. You get a running back like Anthony McFarland. If he just gets a crease, he's gone. For the best access, perspective, and personalities in all of sports, follow us at Fox Sports on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.